Bernie, what are you making uh, of what happened with the Houston Astros? I, I mean, do you look at what they allegedly did as crossing the line? No, I, I think it's, you know, if it's true, it is. And, uh, you know, I've been pondering a lot on, on you know, that situation. And uh, a lot of those people are, you know, obviously my friends, the people that I've played, played with or against, you know, people from my, you know, own hometown and home uh, island of Puerto Rico. So it's a, it's a very personal uh, situation for me because, uh, you know, obviously I feel a lot for those guys. But, uh, I mean, the, the, if it allegedly they did you know, what they're, you know, accused of doing, I think it is crossing the line. You know, uh, every time you use outside, you know, artificial technology to give information to a batter in real time, uh, you know, <laughs> what the pitch is going to be, uh, I think, you know, you definitely have a lot uh, better opportunity to have success and be a bat. doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to have a successful at bat, but the, the odds of you actually uh, being better, actually, they, they increase exponentially. So it definitely give, gave them an advantage, and uh, I am, uh, uh, you know, def that is def the, w the way that I'm thinking. You know, there's some players that said that it would distract them knowing the pitch. Is that just an excuse, or can you see that? Oh, my God, I couldn't know. I was one of those players. I couldn't know for, for a chance what was coming, because if it was 10 feet off over my head, I would swing on it. So I, I really relied on seeing the ball first and picking up the rotation, and that's why I worked so hard on, on just trying to work on my mechanics so I could have enough time to wait and, and recognize the pitch. I couldn't, I couldn't hit knowing what was coming. And uh, I, I, believe me, I tried. <laughs> but uh, it was one of those things that I couldn't do. So I, I, I can believe that. But, but wouldn't you like to know that, okay, I don't know what the pitch is going to be, but I know it's not a breaking ball. Well, I don't know if I would uh, agree with that. I mean, I, I think that even if it's not a breaking ball, and I know it's a fastball, and they're calling it, you know, outside or inside, you, know, right. you still have to hit it. Right. You know? So uh, it doesn't really, like I said before, it doesn't really guarantee that you're going to have success in, in your bat, but it really uh, definitely better your chances of having a successful one. Does it, does it? Does it make you, I mean, do you understand, Bernie, when, when a guy like C.C. Sabathia is, is angry because he, he feels that a chance for him to win a World Series and go to the World Series in 2017 was taken away by the Astros? Absolutely. I mean, I, I can totally, uh, you know, understand his, his sentiment. I mean, you have an opportunity to, to be part of history and, uh, you know, write uh, the history, you know, with your team and have, you know, an outcome that is going to be favorable for you, at least have a fair chance to pursue that. Uh, and uh, once you, you know, find out that, you know, that the game has sort of been rigged a little bit, I would be upset as well.